975, good morning from our new office. I've got to show you, I'm going to do a video on our new space and what we've done and why. But I want to show you today a new product. So that's part of what we do is product reviews. And what I've wanted to do since building this little mini warehouse for us, which has been super handy to store products, batteries, panels, equipment, you name it, is to put a ACDC mini split on it. Now this one isn't what you've normally seen. This is a new product from EG4 Electronics. I got a, I was talking to James Showalter at EG4 and they're reviewing a new, revealing a new product. You might have seen it out there already. It's been some reviews on it. And today I'm going to finish the installation. So I'm putting a, this is a 24K or two ton outdoor condensing unit. And uh, what have I done so far? I've, I'll show you the indoor unit. We've got to finish the line set today. Um, this is an ACDC. So what I did is I hijacked seven panels off of this array I've had here for years. Why seven? Because that the input voltage max is 350 volts. So I'm bringing that over to an IMO disconnect and running that directly. You'll see two conduits. One's for DC, one's for AC. And uh, looks like a standard mini split except for the additional power. So this will run on solar alone. And again, this is a two ton unit. Got the condensate line, control wires down, connected to the inside unit. So I'll have a DC disconnect and an AC pole type disconnect, okay? So I can run it on either or both or yeah, however you want to do it. So I'm gonna get those line sets. These are not pre-charged like the Mr. Cool, so you do have to pull a vacuum and uh, do that. And charge the line set with 410A. Now in the warehouse, so I want, there's a little bit of moisture. We well, can't really see it, but you know how sometimes just the floors will sweat like that. So I wanted to just deal with that. So just mounted their indoor unit on Unistrut, the backing plate is bolted to the Unistrut, and you can see daylight through there. I gotta insulate that. So I'm not done, this is just the beginning. So just like a normal uh, mini split installation, you gotta kind of mount the, I like to mount the indoor unit first, because that kind of determines my line set position, like the length of the line set, you know, how high I need to put the unit, and location wise then i can adjust the outdoor condensing unit to try to burn up that line set this line set comes it's uh, about 13 foot long and comes in a coil it actually does come with the unit which is nice so here's the line set and this is the other line part of it i just unrolled to see how long it was so yeah i just took you can mount your panels any way you want i actually had this ground mount that i'm repurposing from my old Outback system to do these fun little product reviews. So I've got seven 325 watt panels in series and I landed those on a disconnect over here. So I have two, two DC disconnects and then I took, you'll see the end phase, I got end phase inverters. Those are actually AC coupled to a Solark. No Envoy, hence the yellow flashing light but those are AC coupled into a 15K. So then I just brought my solar over here. So we've been doing a lot here that I haven't videoed, just all sorts of infrastructure improvements and future plans, including the office, this building, and I got big plans for this trench. I'll share with you later. And this is the two ton version. They also have a one ton or 12,000, <clears throat> BTU unit so once you mount the indoor unit you're going to drill a hole typically a three inch hole for your line sets um, your communication cable between the indoor and outdoor unit and then the condensate line and then uh, you want to so I'm right now I'm attaching the line set to the indoor unit and then I'll straighten out the lines, bring them down, wrap them around, and connect them in here and get it ready for 
Tony, who's coming here today, he's a HVAC tech. He's got all the tools. I just have a cheap set of gauges. I really need to get a decent vacuum pump because the last one I had was not. So I'm going to get it ready for him though. So you want, when you're making these two connections, just make sure they're pretty tight. Don't wring them off. Don't go crazy. This is very soft copper, but you want to have these tight. And then I've got some uh, bubbles. You can just use soapy water, but I do have some of that the HVAC fluid for checking for leaks. So again, finger, just finger tight, thread them on by hand and then finish them off with two wrenches don't go crazy but make them tight but then when the system's running it's nice to come up and check for bubbles and make sure there's no leaks last step on hooking up the zg4 is to pull a vacuum on the line set had it all hooked up but uh i can't find my vacuum pump now so tony has uh shown up because he is he is the hvac expert so he's going to pull a vacuum on this line set and how long are we going to pull a vacuum for 30 minutes we're going to pull it down to below 500 microns and then we're going to see if it'll hold all right see if i've got any leaks in my line set connections so he's got fancier gauges than i got it's all digital <laughs> so in these units with these short line sets there's enough refrigerant in the outdoor unit to uh, cover these little 12 10 to 15 foot line sets The vacuum pump is on, gauge is being turned on, and he is starting to pull vacuum. You just set it at, what, 500 mic? What did you say? We pull it down to 500 mic. Okay. We want to make sure that it will pull down to 500 mic. So Otherwise we start off, leak. we start off an inch of the mercury vacuum. Yeah. And then you go down to lower, inch of mercury vacuum only go down to about 30 or so. And then it changes over to microns. Right now you see we're not in microns yet. But in just a minute, it's a, if, if there's not a leak, it should exceed below the now capability we're microns. Of, of inches of mercury and go into micron vacuum. All right, and then we get down to 500, we just hold that for how yeah, long? We, we want to know that it'll hold it. I don't know, you hear all kind of different things, you hear 30 minutes and stuff, I mean pretty much if you turn a vacuum pump off and it'll hold it, it's good, it's good, yeah, I mean, you leave it for 5 or 10 minutes, it's going to be fine. So if we have leaks and it doesn't, then we check for leaks. Yep, and you basically can't check for leaks under vacuum, you have to check for leaks under pressure, so you have to put nitrogen in there and pump it up. And gotcha. Look for bubbles, you do bubble soaking. You got nitrogen? Mm -hmm. So he's got everything. Okay. So instead of me pretending I'm an HVAC technician, I hired one. <laughs> Tony has been uh, doing a lot of our HVAC. We're going to go look at a, a job here. And once we get this one done, we've got a Mr. Cool unit that's not behaving. So we're going to go look at that with Tony. So he brought the beast, as always. That thing just gets bigger. And it don't even fit in the camera. Just capturing the startup on solar only got the ac disconnect pulled out to prove that we're not using any ac power and so you can leave it on you can leave it on ac dc mode but sometimes it's nice to prove the concept and there she's cranking up now it's on solar only yeah ramping up so what i'm using this for and you could use it for a lot of different applications when I built this little warehouse, little building here, where I house customers' batteries and equipment, I just wanted to make sure I took the humidity out of this building. So it's, it is an insulated building, insulated doors, and so now we're running the EG4 mini split, the two ton, and keeping everything nice and dehumidified. And it's uh, you can already tell the floor is super dry. It's had a lot of moisture lately. A lot of rain and we just sweat so it's super comfortable in here and i want to do that on solar only yes i can have it on ac power but i want to prove that in some situations it's just fine just to run on solar so i'm not using any grid power or any other solar power from my inverters so i'll show you some stuff on the app 
and it's got a typical remote and so this is exactly what I wanted um, perfect application for a solar direct air conditioner now you could put this in a home and let it run all day long and what it can do is really take the load off of your main units and I've seen I've got a, several customers that have done that and they really their testimonies have been the outdoor unit hardly runs depends on the time of year and uh, the little solar mini split does what it needs to do and you just feel like you're winning when you uh, can do it PV direct so again you've seen a lot of solar battery backup systems from me but when I started practical preppers in this channel I was always trying to do things by not using batteries and so this is another appliance high efficiency appliance from EG4 that allows you to uh, heat or cool it's a heat pump with solar only no batteries direct PV direct so I love it all right hard to see with the lights I'm gonna turn the lights off in here I don't know if you can see the display on the EG4 all right, so we have a Wi-Fi signal. We've connected it to their app, which is Solar Aircon. And uh, I to, the, what I didn't like, um, they don't have it updated for the latest Android. And so I don't use iPhones. I use Androids because I'm an engineer. And that's just the way it is. I don't want to hear it. Um, so uh, <laughs> right now we're using 619 watts. Of PV, we're, we AC. I turned the disconnect off, so we have no AC input. I cranked it down to 61 degrees, and so it's a pretty cool app. What else can you show us on here? You can change settings, and um, it's actually pretty awesome. I'm going to go out and put the AC imp disconnect in, and continue this video. Okay, so we just popped the AC disconnect back in to prove that we are getting some AC input. But it still prioritizes solar on the on the little unit so that is cool so so if you really want to conserve and not use any grid you can just pull that disconnect shut it off but it, if you just want to leave it alone you can see that it's predominantly using solar when it's available and then you get full 24 hour coverage so we just cranked it down to 61 which is as low as it'll go so it's doing awesome the floor is really dry in here now. It's been sweating the last few days, but the floor is just super dry in all areas. It was kind of wet back here. So it is dehumidifying the, the space, and that's what we wanted. So take care of all these high dollar batteries and customers' equipment, and we can do it pretty much on solar only. So I think that's it for the review of the EG4 24K two ton unit. It's got a I like the two-ton for a building this big because it's got a, a 800, I think it's got an 800 CFM fan versus the 400 on the 12 case. So on turbo, it'll really blast you. So let me know what you think. This is Engineer 775 signing out.